Hello everyone, let's look at group anagrams. The problem statement is, given an array of strings, group the anagrams together. The definition of the anagram is a word or phrase formed by rearranging the letters of a different word or phrase, typically using all the original letters exactly once. Here's an example. For the first example, the string EAT, TEA, ATE, these three, they are a group of anagram. And also, NAT and TAN, these two are another group of anagrams. To solve this problem, we can look through the input array. If we find any strings that belong to an anagram group, we just push it in the result. How to determine if two strings are in the same anagram group? I think we can simply sort them and then check if their values are the same. Let's look at the implementation here. First, let's create a map object. It will save all our anagrams group. The key will be the sorted value, and the value will be the anagram array. Then, we can start loop through our input array. Here, we use for off, so we don't need to deal with index. Here, we generate our key. We change the string into array and then we use the inbuilt sort and then we join them back into a string. And then, if the key exists in the map, we push a new string into the array. Otherwise, we save the key value in the map. The value is an array with a single string. Let's have a look at the implementation. So to reiterate, we have this key, that's the sorted value. And then we check if key is already in the map, if it's in the map, and then we push this string in our anagram group. Otherwise, we generate this key value pair in this map, and the value will be an array with a single value s. In the end, we can simply return the map. But what we need to return is an array. We can do object or values map. This will get all the value and change them into an array. Let's submit. It looks good. Let's look at the complexity here. For time complexity, the outer loop, the complexity is O of n. n represents the length of the input array. And the time complexity for this sort in general is O of k, log k. k is the maximum length of a string in the input array. So as a result, the result for the time complexity is O of n multiply k log k. How about the space? I think it's O of nk. That's the total data we saved in our map. For this problem, the main idea is to find this unique key for the map. Then, an anagram string will map to this key. In our case here, the unique key is a sorted string. However, if we do not want to use sort method, and we want to reduce the time complexity. How can we con construct this unique key? I would like to propose another way to map a string into a unique key. That's counting its characters. Let's look at the idea behind this counting characters. Initially, we will have an all zero array. Then we will count the characters in each string. Then we update the array value for each characters and then convert the array result into a unique string. 
Let's look at an example here. For example, the string ABC, and then the initial all zero array is zero zero zero. That's twenty six zero, and then when we do the count, this ABC will become one 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 because for character A we see once character B we see once character C we see once so we have this one 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 the rest are all zero and then we convert this array into a unique string we can simply join them with the delimiter the rest are all zero so we have we have convert ABC into this unique key next time if we see other strings like CBA BCA all these two will be converted into this unique key and then we can do the same thing here we push them into the map and then we return the result let us look at the implementation here if I have confused you I can confirm it will be really clear when we look at the code logic So, how do we do this? Let's first have our array. By doing this, we will have an array with 26 zeros. And then we can loop through our string. Here, if we see character A, we need to plus 1 at the index 0 for this array. How do we do that? The trick here is we can convert this character into its ASCII code. For lowercase a, that's 97. So we just use the ASCII code minus 97. Then for lowercase a, we can map to the index 0. To do this, we can use charcoal add method. And this is our ASCII code. Then we update the specific index by multiplying 97 and then plus 1. After this, the array will get updated. Then we can construct our unique key. For this dash, you can change it to any other delimiters. So that's the second solution. Let's sum it. It passed. Let's look at the complexity here. I think this time it's all of nk because for this loop k will be the maximum length for the string and the outer loop is still all of n and for space it remains the same you may find this uh, unique key a bit long you might think do we have any other ways to construct this unique key yes the answer is we can use the first 26 prime number and multiply them together to construct this unique key. Let's have a look. Here, I have pasted the first 26 prime numbers. Let's look at how we can find the key. Let's remove this part. Let's remove this part. Let's remove this part. First, initial value for key is 1 and then we have this ASCII value and then we need to update the key by multiply the value for this specific index
That's it. By doing this, we keep multiplying the prime number and then we construct the key. For example, if the input A is ABC, then we will multiply 2, 3, and 5, then we get 30. And then the only way we get another 30 is having another string that's an anagram of ABC, for example, CBA. For any other strings, you cannot get this 30. This is how we get this unique key. Let's try to sum it. It passed. This is the solution here. For the complexity, it's still O of nk, O of nk for both time and space because we still have this outer loop and inner loop. Nothing has changed. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below.